Shalom family, another day, another update on the dividend portfolio. So today the portfolio went up 0.11%. Our top three are O, JP Morgan, and Target. O went up 1.4%. Now I talked about that before with a merger with another REIT. Now the biggest takeaway that I have for you today for that is O has a large portfolio. They're the t- landlords, there we go, for Dollar General, uh, Dollar Tree, and 7-Eleven. With that, they are able to get lower interest rates than other people who are able to who don't have that large portfolio. For instance, the RIA that's merging with them. That RIA has higher debt and higher interest rates. So this merger is going to help them out a lot. And it's going to help O out a lot because they're able to expand their portfolio. Next up is JP Morgan. JP Morgan went up 1.10%. Now, I didn't find as much news as to why they increased so much, but I did find out what their analysts were saying in regards to cryptocurrency. In particular, for Bitcoin, they're stating that a large institutions are not purchasing the dip for Bitcoin, and we can expect that dip to go even further down, which isn't so good, definitely for us who are invested in Bitcoin. Next up, like I said, was Target. They went up 0.16% today. Now, Target, what I did find out is how they adapted towards their the, 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 the pandemic. The pandemic. There we go. So how they adapted mainly was for their pickup and their delivery services. Now, they really did adapt very quickly. And the reason why that they're being used more often than Amazon, for instance, their competitor, is because Target has your familiar things. You really want to go to Amazon to get just some milk or some eggs very quickly. But with Target, you're able to get it delivered to you or you're able to pick it up the same day. Next up is our bottom three which is J&J, Lowe's, and Procter Gamble. Now, Johnson & Johnson, they recently were told by the Supreme Court, and this may be why it went down by 2.2% today, that they have to pay $2.1 billion in the recent lawsuit in regards to the baby powder. Now, their baby powder does have some similarities to providing ovarian cancer to these women who are suing them. And there's currently 26,000 similar cases regarding this. So Johnson Johnson is in some hot water right now. Next up, we have Lowe's. Now, Lowe's was my baby. I was really expecting Lowe's to just hold us all the way through for the summer and not go down at all. But they went down 1.54%. I'm a little hurt by that, but I really didn't see any news saying why was this. I saw a lot of news regarding Memorial Day and how they supported it and how they're like really big on veterans and support. But I didn't find information of why that would cause their stock to go down. What I did find out in recent news actually was how they increased their dividend by 33%, making it 0.80 cents, so 80 cents per share uh, per quarter. In other words, $3.20 annually. That makes it a 1.7 dividend yield for lows. So that's pretty good. It's not the greatest, but it is good. Definitely since they're stable and it's good for our portfolio right now, since we're still in the foundation stage. Next up is Procter & Gamble. Once again, this stock, I could never find information or news. If you guys know of information or news or where I can find it, please just let me know. But what I did find and which don't, I don't think it correlates at all with their decrease of 1.46 in the American stock market, the New York Stock Exchange, is Procter & Gamble recently teamed up with a e-commerce out in Southeast Asia dealing with imposter syndrome and spreading the word on it and helping people deal with it and just with hashtag real deal. I think that's really great. Definitely since imposter syndrome, imposter syndrome is a really big thing. And I, honestly, Procter & Gamble, I give it to you guys for this one. So thank you guys so much for watching today. Tomorrow, hopefully, I don't get so tongue-tied on the words that I'm trying to say. Uh, Thanks again, and peace.